What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today we've got the Red Cat Ground Pounder 110 scale ready to run. Come with everything that you need other than the fact that you need four AA batteries for this beast. So anyway, let's get this thing unboxed, see what it comes with. All right, now I got everything out, everything assembled here. I pushed this thing and it's got a little bit, what it is is the gear mesh. So it's, it's too tight and it seems to be like the gears are a little bit, they're too close, but the gear itself, it's a little bit flat. It's hard to say, it's not, it doesn't, let's see if you can kind of see in there. The teeth aren't tall, what I'm getting at on the pinion gear, that's the top gear that you're seeing, not the black one, but the top one that uh, I think it's brass anyhow. Anyway, it's not tall, so it doesn't have a lot of bite onto the spur gear. So that's what I'm kind of looking at, wondering about that one. I got other other pinion gears. My thing is for anybody that's just starting, kind of starting out in the hobby, these are things that they might not have and they have to acquire, or they'd be a you know a phone call or a warranty claim to say, hey, my vehicle's not seems a little bit weird, or they might think that's normal the way it sounds like that and burn up their motor. So this is, not, this is not a good thing how it sounds right now as the gears are too close together. That's something I'll have to adjust. It's not too difficult to adjust anyhow. The, the way the motor sits in there, it's kind of just on a, it slides back and forth. Um, it's hard to see kind of in there. You can maybe see, I know what I'm looking at already, but there's a little groove that's, Trying to focus in. You see that little that hole, that kind of rectangle, whatever slit that's there. Anyway, that motor will slide, so that way you get it. You know how close you need to, or back it off. So that's that. Let's go ahead and get this body top off here. Show you what it comes with as far as its battery. All right. So here's you know, one of the things that happens sometimes with some of the red cats. I've noticed it on some other vehicles as well, but mostly when I get a red cat vehicle, their double stick tape that they use is not great. And so what happens is like electronic speed controllers will sometimes be hanging there, which is a bummer, especially for someone that's just getting into the hobby or anybody anyway in general. Like, hey man, that thing needs to be put down correctly. So come on, Red Cat, you gotta get, you gotta change out your double stick tape or something because it's, they don't stick very well. All right, uh, your connections for your battery connection that's there. And let's speak in the battery, show you how all that stuff gets kind of connected here, but you got a 2100 milliamp battery and it'll give you a decent amount of time. I don't know exactly know how much because I've never run one of these batteries completely down because I usually just use a lipo. So forgive me on that part of it. Anyway, uh, it is a little bit bouncy. All right. So, uh, you know, these, these tires don't have any foam in them, so it does make it, you know, pretty bouncy. Let me see if we can get it from a little bit of a distance there. Sorry, the camera's really white balance is going crazy. All right off this uh, aluminum here but that's that this thing can run on the lipo too so that's nice on that part of it as well i'll put all the specs down below and i'll put a link to our website omgrc.com where you can put, pick up one of these uh fine rc ground pounders here anyway um as far as when it comes to the re radio here it takes this four double a's you just slide that cover off there and when you want to change the different modes when it comes to you can do like the crab walk i think it's the crab walk claw something like that right what it is is that these wheels kind of uh they turn like this so they're both going in the same direction and, they, and it just kind of goes one way or the other a little bit or you can do it where the front turn only and the rear stay straight or you can do it where the rear uh turn and the front wheels stay straight so it's pretty cool different ways that you can do it or you can have them where they turn opposite directions there giving you a nice tight turn so it's definitely cool you know it's kind of like what monster trucks did at the time right they hit a switch uh, allowing them to uh, get a tighter turn when they're racing 
So um, yeah, not bad. Uh, this, the wall charger, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time. It does have a little indication light that's on there. Once it's fully charged, that light should go off. So not bad. You got your little binding plug that's here as well. This is just in case maybe your receiver uh, inside your vehicle dies or something like that. And you need, they send you another one or what have you. You just put that binding plug on and uh, go through instructions and resync it up to your radio itself. So cool on that one. You do get instructions too. So you want to follow, you know, check those all out, you know, how to use this, how to set the trims, just in case the car or the truck moves, goes from one side to the other, or the back end is not uh, centering itself straight when you're going down the road or su such like that. But this comes like a little T-style um, wrench that's in here too. So not a bad deal. You get some instructions as well. Things to safety precautions that are in here. Other little things as far as, you know, hey, if you want to go with a LiPo, LiPos are good. I definitely like the LiPos over the nickel metal hydride batteries. One, you just get more punch. Also, uh, runtime typically is definitely better on that part of it. And But the punch factor and the fun factor stay longer than a nickel metal hydride battery anyhow. Uh, so anyway, that's my two cents on LiPos. <laughs> anyway, uh, but it doesn't come with one, so you have to buy that separately. Also, if you do decide to go with a LiPo battery and you stick one in here, you have to make sure that you change it to LiPo mode. So that's why you want to read your instructions. There's a little jumper that's inside on the electronic speed control. Let me show you here if I can. It's super easy to do. Only takes you know less than a minute to do. But there's instructions that are on here. So you can see. And figure. Let's go ahead and check that out. So zoom in. All right. So you see where it says. Sorry, I need a, something a pointer. But I got a pointer. It's right here. Zoom in. So we got LiPo, where they showed like the jumper. Where it's at right now, it's on nickel metal hydro battery. So that's the jumper. This is the jumper right up here, this very front one. So you'd want to move this one over to the other pin. There's three pins that are on there. So you can see that little gold pin kind of peeking out right there. So you'd move it, jump it over to there, and that way you have LiPo. And what is that? Because some of you guys would be like, well, I don't know what LiPo is anyway. Or what does that mean? It just cuts the voltage off once it hits a certain voltage on the lipo battery on the battery itself it gets then it shuts off the car you want to unplug the battery you want to go ahead and either storage charge that lipo you know once it's done running and that way whenever you want to take it out again you just charge it back up to its you balance charge it anyway that is that man this thing is going to be cool i can't wait to run this thing i gotta adjust that gearing on there anyway but uh appreciate you guys watching as always oh i did have the ams oil uh, body here too and I, so here's the things that you want to kind of reinforce this body would be the back here and even in the back as far as the cab itself now I beat this one up pretty good because I had a brushless system in mind previously but I wanted another one because I definitely enjoyed it just like I have my Tamiya truck that's here as well cool truck like them so anyway appreciate you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out our website, OMGRC. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. So if you are interested in one of these vehicles, that link will be there along with, I'll put the specs in there as well so you can check all that stuff out. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, as always, catch you on the next video. Guys, take care. Thank you.